In this video, we're going to answer the following questions on Arrhenius acid and base theory. Savante Arrhenius, a Swedish scientist, introduced Arrhenius theory in 1887. A popular definition for Arrhenius acid is that it's a substance that increases the concentration of hydrogen ions in aqueous solution. A few terms to clarify. Hydrogen ions are also called protons, therefore you'll hear them being used interchangeably. Also, aqueous solution is a solution where water is used as a solvent. So you might also see Arrhenius acid being defined as a substance that forms hydrogen ions or protons in water. Both definitions are essentially the same. They talk about releasing hydrogen ions and in water. These two are the main keywords when it comes to defining Arrhenius acid. We can represent the definition in a general equation like this. We write HA to represent acid. H2O is written above the arrow since it doesn't participate in the reaction, it's just there as a solvent. Sometimes you'll see that there's AQ or aqueous written next to the acid instead of H2O above the arrow. Both ways are fine. Anyway, once in water, the acid will then form H plus and A minus ions. Arrhenius base, on the other hand, it's a substance that increases the concentration of hydroxide ion in aqueous solution, or it forms hydroxide ions in water. We can write the equation for base like this. Note that Arrhenius base must contain OH since it's a major part of its definition. So what's the difference between Arrhenius acid and base? Well, Arrhenius acid releases hydrogen ions, while base releases hydroxide ions, and both of them require the presence of water. These are the main points of Arrhenius acid and base theory. Sometimes you'll hear acid ionizes while base dissociates. Now, is that always true? Well, that actually depends on the acid or the base, whether it's ionic or covalent. When covalent compound dissolves to produce ion, it's called ionization. It involves the formation of new ions. This process is not reversible, and an example for this is HCl. Note that HCl is a covalent compound where H and Cl atoms share electrons, and when dissolved in water, it will produce H plus and Cl minus ions. These ions were not present before. If the acid or base is an ionic compound, it separates into an existing ions, and that is called dissociation. This process is reversible, meaning it can go forward or backward. An example for acid is dissociation of H3PO4, and for base, it's ALOH3. Notice that regardless whether you're writing for ionization or dissociation, they are basically the same, in the sense that there will be H plus ions released if it's acid, and OH- ions released if it's base, and both will be accompanied with the appropriate anion or cation. To recap, Arrhenius theory was discovered by Cervante Arrhenius in 1887, Arrhenius acid releases H plus ions in water, while Arrhenius base releases OH minus ions in water. The difference between ionization and dissociation lies in the type of bonds the acid or base has. The equation for both are written in the same manner, where H2O is placed above the arrow, and we get H plus or OH minus ions plus the corresponding anion or cation. Let me know in the comments if you wish to see videos on how to write ionization or dissociation equations. Hope the video was helpful. Do subscribe and thanks for watching.